The TI Inspire does a great job with t-tests of the mean like this one. So if we want to know if the class average screen time is different than the national average, we'll be testing this at alpha equals 0.05. Now it turns out that the national average is 6.7 hours per day, which gives us this null hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis then, since we're looking to see if ours is different, would be mu not equal to 6.7. Now the TI Inspire is going to find everything that we need to conduct this test, starting with those critical T values. This test is in two tails, so I've got two of those critical values. One's going to be negative and one's going to be positive. Now I do have this actual data of my students and I want to enter this into my calculator. Stick around until the end because I'm going to show you how to enter in the mean and standard deviation from this data instead of entering in all the values. But we're going to enter in those values. So we want to start with a lists and spreadsheet. I'm here at the home page. I'm just going to arrow over. If you're adding a page, you'd want to add lists and spreadsheets. I'm going to choose this and then enter. And I want to give that list a name. So my data would be like time. So let's call it time, T-I-M-E. And then enter, arrowing down to that first empty cell, I can enter in my data. I'm just typing in my values followed by enter. To find the critical T values and our test T, we're gonna do that in a calculator page. So let's add a page from here. So control add page. And we wanna add that calculator page, which is number one. So we'll just hit enter. Now from here, we're gonna be using our statistics menu. So we're gonna hit the menu button and then choose statistics, which is number six. And we wanna look for distributions as we're looking for those critical T values. So let's arrow down to distributions and then enter. You could hit number five. And I'm looking for the inverse T. That's gonna give me a T value based on the area or significance level. Let's hit enter here. This is what you would normally do using a table. So much easier in our calculator. Now it wants to know the area of our significance region, but it wants to know just one tail. We've got 0.05 split into two tails. So our area is going to be 0.05 divided by two, and it wants degrees of freedom as well. Degrees of freedom is the number of data values minus one. We've got 18 data values. So 18 minus one is 17. We can arrow down to okay and then enter. And it gives me my leftmost T value. So I've got negative 2.1, we'll round that to negative 2.11. So I've got plus or minus 2.11 for those critical T's, which are the cutoff values for our rejection region. So we need to be at least 2.11 standard deviations away in order to say that our average is significantly different. Let's find that test T next. To find the test T, we're gonna go back into our stat menu. So menu again, and then statistics, which is number six, and then enter. And then I want not distributions this time, but I want stat tests, which is number seven, and then enter. And we are looking for, it's just number two, that T test. So let's go ahead and choose this by hitting enter. And it's gonna ask you a few things. Do you wanna input data, or if I hit the right arrow, or statistics? I'm gonna show you statistics next. We're gonna use the data that we input first. So I do want data, so let me just back arrow here and then arrowing down to okay and then enter. And it wants to know what our null hypothesis is. Well, we are assuming that this is going to be 6.7. So I'm gonna type in 6.7. Our list lives in time. So if I hit that right arrow, I'm gonna choose time by hitting enter and then arrowing down frequency list, I am choosing just each value one time. So a frequency of one is great. Arrowing down, we get to our alternative hypothesis. Now it is set for not equals, but if you wanted to see your other choices, you could hit the right arrow and you could also choose greater than or less than, but we do want not equals. I'm gonna hit enter and then let's arrow down again and hit okay. So it gives me all of this great information, including that test T value of negative 1.479. It also gives me a p-value. Notice how that p-value is greater than our significance level. 
Let's look at the easier way to work with that data, or let's say that you were given a mean and a standard deviation. So if I go over here to my data, I can find the mean and standard deviation, and this would be the same if you were given it. Now I'm in Google Sheets, Excel is the same way. So I'm gonna hit equals followed by average. It does not have mean as one of its functions, and it's assuming that I want the data above, and I do, so I'll hit enter. So I've got an average of 5.3. We also want that sample standard deviation, and that would be equals STDEV. You can also pick the dot S, but the STDEV is the sample standard deviation. We're going to choose this and it's again auto selecting the values that I want, or you can highlight through those and then hit enter. So I've got 3.994. Let's rerun that test now with a known mean and sample standard deviation. So back in our calculator, we're gonna to go to the stats menu again. Notice I'm still on my calculator page. So I'm gonna go menu and then I want statistics and then enter. And then I want stat tests again and then enter. And I do want that T test and then enter. And this time, instead of choosing data, I'm gonna use the right arrow and I'm gonna arrow down to stats and then enter. Let's go ahead and arrow down to okay and then enter again. Again, at once, my null hypothesis. Well, that assumed average is the national average of 6.7. And then it's asking me for X bar, which is my sample mean. My sample mean was 5.3 and it wants the sample standard deviation. And we found that to be 3.99. Nine, four. And then N, we had 18 data values. So just arrowing through these. And then again, it gives you options for your alternative hypothesis. We do want not equals. So let's arrow down to OK and then hit Enter. Now we do notice if I scroll back up, when I ran the test using the data, my values are slightly different from when I typed in the mean and standard deviation, and this is due to rounding. Let's go ahead and use this result to draw our conclusion. Now that test T tells us that we are negative 1.485 standard deviations from 6.7. We needed our sample average to be at least 2.11 standard deviations away, but that test value tells us that we're only 1.485 standard deviations away. This means that our class average is not significantly different and we would fail to reject that null hypothesis. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. I've got another hypothesis test for you here.